President of Greece Propakis Pavlopoulos has arrived in Armenia on a two-day official visit at the invitation of his Armenian counterpart Armen Sarkisian. On the first day of his trip, Pavlopoulos immediately visited the Armenian Genocide Memorial Complex. He toured the Museum Institute and left a note in the register book. Afterwards, Pavlopoulos planted a symbolic fir tree in the Alley of Trees at Titernakabert Complex. The trial into the case of the second president Robert Kocharyan and other ex-officials continued in Yerevan. Ex-president Kocharyan, former defense minister Seyran Ohanian, and former CSTO secretary general Yuri Khachaturov were present during the trial. The lawyers of the second president submitted a motion for release on bail. The court retired to the deliberation room to consider the motion. According to Judge Anna Danibekian, the judgment will be announced on Thursday, November 7. A meeting of the CSTO Parliamentary Assembly Council was held in Yerevan Tuesday and brought together heads of the parliament from the CSTO member states. Opening the session, President of the Armenian Parliament Ararat Mirzoyan said member states' common goal is to strengthen parliamentary cooperation and expand collaboration for a balanced solution to key international problems. Russian State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin was re-elected as chairman of CSTO parliament. Heads of the parliaments were received by Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, who called CSTO an important factor in stability and security in our region. The authorities of Armenia and Artsakh have the same position on the settlement of Karabakh conflict, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said in his address during a live Facebook session. During a live address, which he titled Conversation with the Citizens' Speculations over Karabakh, he labeled the speculations on different positions as ridiculous. Pashinyan emphasized that he often holds consultations with the Karabakh authorities. Armenian Prime Minister ruled out any conspiracy over Karabakh talks and insisted there is quite interesting dynamics in the negotiations. He added that once an acceptable solution is found, it will be discussed and adopted in the nationwide format. The United States Embassy announced that the United States government has further increased assistance funding to Armenia in 2019. The figure for this year is more than $60 million, which represents a 40% increase over last year's amount. Since 1992, the United States government has provided more than $2 billion in assistance to Armenia. President of Turkey Recep Tayyip Erdogan may cancel his visit to Washington because of the Armenian Genocide Resolution passed by the House of Representatives last week, Turkish officials told Reuters. Erdogan was expected to arrive in the United States on November 13 at President Donald Trump's invitation, but he said the vote on the genocide put a question mark over the plans. Armenia has been recognized as Eurasia's leader in terms of Internet freedom in 2019, Freedom on the Net 2019 report says. Armenia is named a country with free Internet and ranks number 8 in the list leaving behind even Japan and South Korea.